Unibody is made more rigid and stiffer, less flexing unibody structure than before. So we can see that that's going to help manage contact patch with less twisting. If there was a lot of twisting, but maybe the doors wouldn't open and close so well. Also, we've got the beautiful balance here, 50-50. Now the Volvo, I know, we know it's not balanced with the engine in front of the axles. The Volvo, when you get up there to where the front end drops, the front end doesn't come back up unless you back up. The BMW can really show off that balance, less twisting, doors are opening. And even the ability to send the power to opposite corners, some of the competitors, they get up there almost with some momentum to get them there. Because it's not, they don't get up there as easily as the BMW. And when they do get up there, the wheels that are in mid-air, that are spinning. So that's nice that we we're showing off some of that stuff there. That couple neat features there. But man, this gets even trickier. This is, this is downright diabolical and mean. This is just, just difficult stuff to be able to show you the, the ability for the X5 to go one wheel driving. Three of the wheels have zero traction because they're on rollers. Only the right rear has any grip. So when Stefan accelerates, let's see if the X-Drive can send the power to the rear and if the brakes will clamp it on and send the power to the right and let's see how he one wheel drives with that right rear. Okay? I have to let you know, not all the competitors can do that. And of the ones that can, none of them do it as easily as that. As effortlessly. And now, only the right front tire has any grip. The other three have zero on the shipping rollers. Let's see if the X-Drive can send the power to the front. The brakes will clamp it on from the right to the left. And up it goes. Great off-road stuff there. Again, many make, many make the claim they can do the one-wheel drive. Even um, Subaru, oh, we'll take the power from the wheels that slip the ones that grip. Subaru will not go up there. That is a really difficult situation. But now I want to show you the start-off assist. This is a device that automatically holds the brake on for two seconds in that moment going from the brake to the gas. And not until Stefan touches the gas pedal will it real quickly release the brake so that no backwards moment is produced. He can even just slowly go from the gas to the brake or from the brake to the gas. Let's watch him pull forward without going backwards. No need for that typical off-road technique of using the gas and the brake together to keep it from going backwards. Real casual with that one. Next, we'll show you the hill descent control. The device that automatically will maintain the vehicle speed for the driver at the speed of 5 miles an hour up to 17 miles an hour. With the buttons manually turned on, you adjust it with the cruise control if you want to go up to 17. If it's been turned off and on again, it re uh, defaults to 5. So we know he's had it off and on. Watch Stefan release the brake and watch the X5 automatically do the braking for him and keep the vehicle at 5 miles an hour so he only has to concentrate on guiding the vehicle with the steering wheel. No need to concentrate on modulating the brake. Another neat off-road feature. When you start adding them all up, the stiff chassis to minimize twist.